everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be learning about the four systems of Earth. Let's start with the basics. So first of all, like its name suggests, it's four different systems of Earth. What does that mean though? It means that there are four different systems inside the Earth's boundaries, not outside, inside the Earth's boundaries. So, what are the four systems of Earth? They are the geosphere, which is actually also known as the lithosphere, but in this video, I'm going to be using geosphere. And so the geosphere, the atmosphere, the hydrosphere, and the biosphere. I made a poster for all of us to look at, which the poster will probably help all of you get a better understanding of the four systems. So let's get started. So here we are at the poster. So take a look around really quickly. Okay, so let's get started. As you can see, the top, the heading of the poster says Earth Spheres. Why though? Because I've been calling these um, spheres the Earth Systems. Be so the thing is that Earth Systems and the Earth Spheres are the same thing. They're trying to depict the same thing. So what are the four spheres again? I'll remind you that they're the biosphere, the geosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. So let's start with the biosphere. The biosphere contains all the living beings um, uh, on Earth. So you can see right there in that poster, there are some plants and trees, and there are the birds, and there are the deers. So all those counts, and even the marine life counts. All right, let's move on to the hydrosphere. All The hydrosphere contains all the water on Earth in all its states. So there are three states of um, water. They are like the liquid, the solid, and the gaseous. So when it's in the liquid state, it's just normal water. When it's in the solid state, it's ice. And when it's in the, uh, in the gaseous state, it's water vapor. So here's the diagram that I did. The gray spots are where um, like the icebergs are. And then just the blue is what the water. And the most interesting thing about this is that um, you see the biosphere kind of overlaps the hydrosphere because most of the marine lives live, well, basically all the marine life live in the water. So the hydrosphere contains all the water, remember that, but the marine life counts as in the biosphere because they are living beings. So now let's move on to the atmosphere. The atmosphere is like, the atmosphere is made up of all the air that is in or surrounds Earth. So you can see there is the diagram, small diagram that I did for the atmosphere. So I just use cotton balls to represent all the gases, different types of gases in our atmosphere. You can see that, for example, there's a nitrogen and there's oxygen too. So I hope you all will get that part. Um, like that, I just gave the example of nitrogen and oxygen. So I couldn't exactly um, do that. So I just use cotton balls to represent those. Now, the geosphere, we move on. The geosphere contains all the solid land on Earth all the way to the core so that's a lot of land but here's a diagram that i did mountains and everything the plains for example now the biosphere comes in again because you see it overlaps the geosphere why and how well because most living beings live on land including humans. We all live on land and we're basically living on the geosphere. That's why the biosphere um, kind of overlaps the geosphere. And here is a small diagram that I did for the geosphere, the hydrosphere, the biosphere, and the atmosphere. All right, so I'm gonna put up the poster right there again so you can see the whole poster. And I really, really hope this was helpful. Now I believe that you get what the four systems of Earth are. And if you do, I'm really glad. 
um and i hope this video was really really helpful for you and you really understood what the four systems or four spheres of earth are make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video bye everyone